Until Life Do Us Part Season 1 is a romantic drama series set in Portugal that follows three generations of a Portuguese family as they try to deal with the challenges in their lives. When we watch a show like this, it makes us think about our nuclear family dynamics. And to Life Do Us Part introduces Days of Passion, a wedding planning company owned and operated by Vanessa Pikesau and her husband Daniel, as well as their children, Marco, an in-the-closet asexual, and Rita, a video editor for the upcoming Bride and Groom. This initiative will determine whether Vanessa and Daniel remain in the villa and work together in the future. Who and what is Days of Passion? Vanessa is a well-known wedding planner at the Pikesau Villa, which is located in a tiny Portuguese village. Daniel, her spouse, is a struggling photographer who comes from an affluent family. Daniel's parents are millionaires, and when he claimed he wanted to marry Vanessa because she was pregnant, they chose to give him the villa. Daniel and Vanessa are no longer together in the present day. They have two lovely children. Marco, a sociology scholar, and Rita, a redeed who interviews couples about to get married Dan shoots videos of them to advertise the business. Vanessa is a well-known wedding planner at the Pikesau Villa, which is located in a tiny Portuguese village. Daniel, her spouse, is a struggling photographer who comes from an affluent family. Daniel's parents are millionaires, and when he claimed he wanted to marry Vanessa because she was pregnant, they chose to give him the villa. Daniel and Vanessa are no longer together in the present day. The Pikesaus live in this villa, which also serves as a wedding site for prospective couples. As the family struggles to pay the hiked rent to Daniel's affluent parents for the villa, the wedding planning business that Daniel and Vanessa run in the villa begins to show indications of insolvency. Vanessa is going through menopause, which is making her delusional and forcing her into alternate realities when she gets a hot flash. Vasco, a college friend of Daniel's, owns a prestigious gallery and has been Vanessa's lover even before she got married to Daniel. Vanessa's parents share the villa with her, the kids, and Daniel. Vanessa's father, Joaquim Pikesau, is a famed boxer who was known as the Tiger of Raya. Joaquim says that his first meeting with Luisa was love at first death threat. In the year 1968, he was fleeing a police checkpoint to seek refuge in a villa, and Luisa held a gun to the back of his head with extreme caution. With time, they grew closer. Vanessa has a sister, Natalia, who is planning her third wedding, which will bring the entire family together to celebrate and mourn a major demise. Daniel keeps asking Vanessa whether their marriage can succeed amidst the many high-profile guests seeking to be married at this property. Vasco's constant presence in Vanessa's life becomes the root cause of the uncertainty. Season 1 ending explained, Joaquin Pikesau and his wife, Luisa, have a special bond. Louise is losing her memories and steadily drifting away with realities only she understands, despite their intimacy and closeness. As he speaks with a doctor, Joaquin realizes he may lose her. The Alzheimer's disease becomes more aggressive, and Joaquin realizes Louise's death is approaching. The renowned Tiger of Raya takes his final powerful swig of wine and passes away, struggling with the reality that he may lose his true love. He abandons the beloved red truck he was refurbishing after it got heavily damaged in an accident. This makes Daniel's insides shatter, since his father-in-law taught him the one thing he knew that could help him relax. Daniel was trained to box by him. Daniel took up a contact sport to help him cope with stress and despair. Louisa soon begins to see things clearly and becomes extremely lucid as a result of her husband's death. She tells Daniel that he must sell the red vintage truck to his longtime supporter, who employs him as a gallery photographer. Because both Vanessa and Daniel are struggling, this money would be utilized to pay for Joaquin's funeral expenses. Louisa pours two glasses of powerful liquor and takes her last swig shortly after her husband's death, as is customary, and then passes away. Rita has a police officer for a boyfriend. When a footballer at the villa decides to marry an influencer, they meet for the first time. She realizes he is her rock after spending enough time with him. And he accepts it, becoming a member of their family. Marco is a sociology PhD who is in the closet about his sexuality, but comes to grips with it when a specific boy from the virtual world of a website decides to courageously come to the villa for a certain wedding. Natalia, Vanessa's sister, is about to marry her third husband, so Joaquin gives her one more dance, and Natalia sees him for the last time. 
the family gathers for both funerals, creating the ideal union. Vanessa comes to terms with her feelings for Daniel and decides to end the marriage by accepting the idea of divorce. Reed and Marco decide to separate the pair with Vanessa traveling to India for a month. Vasco is confronted by Daniel about his secret relationship with Vanessa. Vasco decides to conduct an exhibition of Daniel's images at his prominent gallery after being confronted with the truth. Finally, Reed and Marco decide to approach Daniel's parents and propose that they handle the villa, as well as accounts and events, without their lawyer hovering over them. This proposition astounds Daniel's parents, but they agree because the land is still in their name. Rita sets up a meeting with the lady who previously brought the show Love Thy Neighbor, which selects the perfect marital match for any gender of a spinster to their property in order to help advertise the villa and keep the business alive. Rita imagines her grandparents waving to her from next to the red vintage truck during the conference and concludes that this is the wisest course of action. Season 1 of Until Life Do Us Part reminds us that the intriguing title is about living a life worth cherishing while alive. The season finishes with the question of whether the children can save the wedding planner business. We wonder if we'll see more of the Pikesau family in the future, while also paying tribute to the time spent witnessing the dynamic backgrounds from which these individuals emerge. The series strikes the perfect mix between plot and character development and it is well-paced enough to keep you captivated and involved throughout. With catchy dialogues and a highly liberal outlook on life, director Manuel Pereza leads us through a frenzy of family relationships, watching each character's inner issues come to life in an oddly sympathetic way. And a life do us part features a quirky dialogue style and a unique sense of humor, making it a must-see as well as a highly recommended series to watch. Until Life Do Us Part Season 1 released in its entirety on February 10, 2022, on Netflix. The first season comprises eight episodes that run for 43 to 57 minutes each. Before its international premiere, the show aired in Portugal from February 3, 2021, to March 31, 2021, on RTP1. As for the show's sofa more outing, here is what we can tell you. Neither Netflix nor the executives associated with the production have made any formal statements regarding the fate of the series. But we have high hopes. It is the first Portuguese series to be acquired by Netflix. In addition, it has reached at least 198 countries, a move that guarantees an increase in viewership and demand for more seasons. To add to that, the first season's ending suggests that the storyline might continue with the potential season 2. Therefore, the idea of another installment is not so far-fetched. Typically, Netflix waits for about a couple of months before announcing its decision to greenlight a new season. So, we may not hear anything till April 2022. Even if the show is given the go-ahead by then, it will take around 10 months or so before a new season can be rolled out. Taking all these factors into account, if the series is recommissioned soon, we can expect Until Life Do Us Part Season 2 to release sometime in Q3 2023 on Netflix. By the end of the first season, the Pikesau family go through some major changes. Louisa passes away soon after the death of her beloved husband, Joaquin. Vanessa decides to take a solo trip to India, and Daniel becomes more invested in photography. Since the family is on the verge of losing their villa, Marco and Rita take the lead and push their business forward to pay off the debts. Apparently, even celebrities have begun to take an interest in their work. If there is a season two, we will see how the Pikesau family moves forward. Vanessa and Daniel are yet to figure out the details of their divorce. But both of them decide to take the time to work on themselves, so it would be interesting to see how things change. Moreover, Marco and Rita have a lot to prove when it comes to their family business. So, how things shape up for them will be an important plot point in the prospective season 2.